Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. So, we have discussed uh, interpolation. Then, uh, based on the interpolation uh, in the last lecture, we have discussed about uh, this uh, numerical differentiation based on Newton's forward difference and Newton's backward difference approximations. So, today we will just uh, discuss this numerical differentiation based on Lagrangian interpolation, divided difference interpolation. And then from that differentiation, how we can just determine this maxima and minima of a function based on this polynomial approximations so that we will discuss. So, basically we are just discussing here that uh, whenever you will have a tabular values like uh, x i f i s at n plus 1 distinct points starting from 0, 1, 2 up to n, then usually this Lagrangian polynomial p n x is written in the form like p n x. this equals to summation i equals to 0 to n l i x f of x i. So, or sometimes we also for our convenience we are just writing k equals to 0 to n l k x f of x k also, where this l k x is called the Lagrangian coefficient and uh, if it is interpolating with a polynomial, then it is called p n x here. This means that we are just a formulating or a constructing a polynomial p n x based on this n plus 1 nodal points considering this functional values based on this function f of x k here. So, if you just write here this Lagrangian coefficient, then usually we are just writing this Lagrangian coefficient l k x as omega x by x minus x i w dash of x i here. So, where usually this w of x is defined in the form like x minus x 0, x minus x 1 up to x minus x n here. Since we have here these tabulator points expressed in the form of like x 0, f of x 0, x 1, f of x 1 up to x n, f of x n. Especially we are just uh, evaluating these derivatives at the position that if the function is a not known us explicitly. This means that if the tabular values has been given like x 0, y 0, x 1, y 1 up to x n, y n where exactly this function is not known to us, then we can just also approximate this polynomial in the form of p n x from where or from that we can just get this differentiation of this function f of x at different points, maybe at the same tabular points or sometimes maybe at uh, different points also, which is existing within any of the interval of these tabular points. Basically, if you will just uh, want to evaluate this derivative for this function p n dash or p n of x here. The derivative of p n x usually it is written in the form of p n dash x here and this can be written as summation i equals to 0 to n l i dash of x f of x i here. Since if you will just see here this omega x consists of this variables in the form of x here where we can just uh, differentiate this function. Especially if you just see this derivative of p and x is nothing, but the derivatives whatever it is just operating on l i of x here multiplied with this functional values or the tabular values which has been given at all of these nodal points or tabular points. If we can just write this one in a complete form, we can just write this one as l 0 dash of x f of x 0 l 1 dash of x f of x 1, since we have this known values of x 0, x 1 and x 2 up to x n and where also these functional values are known to us, which all are constants here. Especially it can be written of the form since the final point is here nth point. So, l n dash x f of x n this one. So, specifically if you will just uh, see here the slides, so we can just say that x i are the values which is uh, 
expressed at all of these node points that is in the form of x0, x1 to xn and the functional values that is expressed in the form of f of x0, f of x1 to f of xn here. So, suppose first we will just consider a uh, Lagrange polynomial which is used three points suppose since at a time if you will just consider n points it is uh, difficult to understand. So, first we will just consider three points suppose if you will assume that the function goes through suppose three points and the points are defined in the form like x0, f of x0, x1, f of x1, x2, f of x2. Either you can just write in the form of f of x0, f of x1, f of x2 or you can just write that one as x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2. sorry this one x2 y2 here. Since we are just expressing here y equals to f of x and if we will just consider this polynomial here. So, this can just generate a polynomial of a degree 2 that is in the form of p 2 x here which can be written in the form of l 0 x f of x 0 l 1 x f of x 1 plus l 2 x f of x 2 here. And if we will just write independently all the terms here, this means that l 0 x can be written in the form of like x minus x 1 x minus x 2 divided by x 0 minus x 1 x 0 minus x 2 here. Similarly, l 1 x this can be written in the form of like x minus x 0, x minus x 1 sorry x minus x 2 divided by x 1 minus x 0, x 1 minus x 2 here. Similarly, L 2 x can also be written in the form of like x minus x 0, x minus x 1 divided by x 2 minus x 0, x 2 minus x 1 here. So, if you will just express this three Lagrange polynomial coefficients L 0 x, L 1 x and L 2 x in this form here, then we can just write P 2 x as thus P 2 x can be written in the form of like x minus x 1, x minus x 2 by x 0 minus x 1, x 0 minus x 2 into f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 2 divided by x 1 minus x 0 x 1 minus x 2 into f of x 1 plus x minus x 0 into x minus x 1 divided by x 2 minus x 0 x 2 minus x 1 into f of x 2 here. So, if you will just write this polynomial in this form then easily we can just uh, evaluate the derivatives for this function p 2 x here or the polynomial p 2 x here. So, if you will just uh, differentiate this polynomial p 2 x with respect to x here differentiating p 2 x with respect to x here. If you will just differentiate this one, then we can just write this differentiation as p 2 dash x here. So, p 2 dash x if you will just see here, first product if you will just take, so x square, this means that we can just write 2 x minus if you will just say x is a product of here that can just give you minus x 1 here. If you will just take the product of this one also here, that will just give you minus x 2 here. And the last derivative if you just consider this is nothing but a constant here plus x 1 and x 2 and its derivative will be 0 here. Then divided by all of this points if you just see all are here constants. So, that is why we can just write x 0 minus x 1, x 0 minus x 2, f of x 0 since all are here constants only. So, next derivative point if you just consider here or the next derivative term 
associated with this p 2 x that can be written in the form like 2 x minus x 0 minus x 2 divided by x 1 minus x 0 x 1 minus x 2 f of x 1 plus the last term if you will just differentiate it can be written in the form of 2 x minus x 0 minus x 1 divided by x 2 minus x 0 x 2 minus x 1 into f of x 2. So, now if you will just uh, differentiate once more here p 2 dash x then we can just obtain p 2 double dash x also here. So, next if you will just uh, go for the second differentiation of this function here if you will just uh, differentiate once more here then we can just write p 2 double dash of x this can be written as first one is the variable term only this is involved here. So, 2 by x 0 minus x 1 x 0 minus x 2 into f of x 0 plus 2 by x 1 minus x 0 x 1 minus x 2 into f of x 1 plus the last term if you will just uh, take one more differentiation it can just uh, represent the term here x 2 minus x 0 x 2 minus x 1 into f of x 2 here. And combinedly if you will just write this term this can be written in the form of like 2 is common for all the terms here 2 divided by x 0 minus x 1 x 1 minus x 2 x 2 minus x 0 here. And if you will just uh, write the upper part of the term here this can be written in the form of like x 2 minus x 1 into f of x 0 plus next term if you will just see here that is uh, not common to this term here that is in the form of like uh, uh, if you will just see that is nothing but x 0 minus x 2 x 0 minus x 2 f of x 1 plus last term that is in the form of like uh, if you will just see that is in the form of x 1 minus x 0 here. So, x 1 minus x 0 f of x 2. So, this is the complete representation of uh, this uh, uh, second order differentiation of uh, p 2 x. This means that if you will just involve only 3 points then we can just uh, represent this polynomial in this form. So, likewise we can just express the nth differentiation or if you will just consider a polynomial of a degree n also here then the first order differentiation, second order differentiation, third order differences we can just get it in the same manner here. So, based on this we can just also say that if all these points suppose equally spaced sometimes we are just saying that Lagrange interpolating polynomial this can be applicable both for uh, equispaced points and unequispaced points. In this case we have just considered that all points may be unequally spaced if we will just consider that all the points are equally spaced suppose equally spaced means we can just consider x 1 equals to x 0 plus h x 2 equals to x 0 plus 2 h. So, likewise we can just say that x n equals to x 0 plus n h here obviously in a graphical representation you can just say that if x 0 is the starting point here and x n is the end point here if you will just divide this complete interval into n equal parts we can just say that it is equally spaced or all the points are equispaced. So, if you will just uh, replace all of these points by this transformation then we can just uh, obtain the first order differentiation p 2 dash of x 0 suppose. This means that we are just considering this differentiation at this point x 0 here if you will just consider that one that can be written in the form like 
if you just see this one is the differentiation here. So, first point it can be written in the form of like 2 x 0 minus suppose this differentiation we want to determine at the point x 0 here. So, then x equals to x 0 here minus x 0 minus h minus x 0 minus 2 h divided by this is the x 0 minus x 0 minus h this is x 0 minus x 0 minus 2 h into f of x 0 plus 2 x 0 minus x 0 minus x 0 minus 2 h divided by x 0 plus h minus x 0 x 0 plus h minus x 0 minus 2 h into f of x 0 plus h plus the last term if you just write here that is as 2 x 0 minus x 0 minus x 0 minus h <coughs> divided by x 0 plus 2 h minus x 0 x 0 plus 2 h minus x 0 minus h into f of x 0 plus 2 h here. So, if you just uh, cancel all the terms here, then we can just say that this x 0, x 0 can be cancelled out, this x 0 is cancelled out, this x 0 is cancelled out here, this is 2 x 0 it is cancelled out. So, this x 0 is cancelled out, this x 0 is cancelled out, this x 0 is cancelled out. This this x 0 is cancel it out, this x 0 is cancel it out. So, finally, if you just uh, write uh, all the terms here, we can just write p 2 dash of x 0 first if you just see here minus h minus 2 h here also minus h minus 2 h. So, if you just see here we can just uh, take common 1 by 2 h from all these terms and it can be written in the form of like minus 3 f of x 0 plus 4 f of x 1 minus f of x 2 here. So, this means that all of the terms if you will just see that first term if you will just see here that is in the form of like uh, minus h minus 2 h here. So, that is why this is minus 3 h and lower one if you will just see here minus h. So, minus 2 h this one also minus 3 h here then f of x 0. So, next one if you will just see here. So, the same thing we can just say that is a 2 x 0 minus x 0 minus x 0 it is just cancel it out then 2 h is remained in the upper side here. So, then lower side if you will just see here that is in the form of x 0 minus x 0 it is just cancel it out then h remains here then h minus 2 h here. So, that will be minus h will be remained. So, minus h into h that will just generate here h square. So, likewise if you will just solve these 3 terms we can just obviously get this 3 point formula here that is this is called the first 3 point formula for first order derivative here. Next we will just uh, go for this uh, second order differentiation here. So, if you will just uh, differentiate this uh, p 2 double dash at x 0 then we can just obtain here p 2 double dash of x 0 as directly the same formulation we can just use here also that is 2 by x 0 minus x 0 minus h x 0 plus h minus x 0 minus 2 h x 0 plus 2 h minus x 0 into x 0 plus 2 h minus x 0 minus h into f of x 0 plus x 0 minus x 0 minus 2 h into f of x 0 plus h here plus 
x0 plus h minus x0 into f of x0 plus 2h. So, if you will just see here this x0, x0 cancel it out, x0, x0 cancel it out, x0 is also cancel it out here, this is also cancel it out, this is also cancel it out. If you will just write in a complete form here, then it can be written as 2y minus h, this one also here minus h. Last one if you will just see here, this is nothing but 2 h here. And inside this functions if you will just see, first one just gives you h f 0, since uh, x 0, x 0 cancel it out. So, 2 h minus h, so that is why it is just giving you h here. So, h into f of x 0 that is nothing but h f 0 here. Second part if you will just see here, that is nothing but uh, minus 2 h here that we can just write minus 2 h f 1 and last point if you will just see here, this can be just giving you h f of x 2 and finally, we can just write this one as since minus minus it is just giving you plus here this one. So, f 0 since h can be taken out common from all the terms here. So, f 0 minus 2 f 1 plus f 2 divided by h square. Since we are just writing here f 0 is nothing but f of x 0 and f 1 is nothing but f of x 1 and f 2 is nothing but f of x 2. This is called second order forward difference formula especially if you will just see the same formula you can just get it also in Taylor series expansion also. This is called second order forward difference formula. So, Based on this differentiation, we can just go for uh, uh, the solution of uh, some problems. First, we will discuss uh, these problems based on this Lagrange interpolation, where it can be exactly applied to the nodal points. This means that either at uh, x0 or at x1, directly if you just put at that point, whatever we have just discussed here, the same way we can just differentiate and we can obtain the solution. So, first if you just consider this example that is in the form like x is prescribed at 0, 2, 3, 4, 7 suppose, since we have considered as unequal spaced point and uh, if the functional values are expressed as 4, 26, 58, 112, 466 suppose and the value is asked you to compute at x equals to 2. Since if you will just see this tabular values here, x equals to 2 is a particular tabular value for on this problem here and it is asked to evaluate these values at y dash of 2. So, first if you will just discuss here, find y dash of 2 using the following data, suppose the question is asked and the data points are given in the form like x at uh, 0, 2, 3, 4, 7 suppose and uh, this functional values are expressed in the form 4, 26, 58, 112 and 466. This is suppose uh, given here and obviously we can just say that we have to find y dash of x at x equals to 2 here. Obviously, 2 is nothing but the tabular point here. And if you will just use this Lagrange interpolation, then the formula can be written in the form of p n x equals to summation k equals to 0 to 4. Since if you will just see here, 5 nodal points are there. So, it can just generate a polynomial of degree 4 here. So, that is why you can just write lkx f of xk here. 
and uh, directly we can just write LKX as omega x divided by x minus xk omega dash of uh, xk here and omega of x can be expressed in the form of x minus 0, x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4, x minus 7 here. Since all the points should be included in the numerator product part here. So, if we want to find this L0 x here, so L0 x can be written in the form like x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3, x minus x4 divided by x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, x0 minus x3, x0 minus x4 here. And directly if you will just write this functional values in the upper part here, this can be written as x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4, x minus 7 divided by this uh, all of these uh, terms like uh, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 3, 0 minus 4, 0 minus 7 here. And similarly, if you just write L 1 x, this can be read represented in the form of like x minus x0, x minus x2, x minus x3, x minus x4 divided by x1 minus x0, x1 minus x2, x1 minus x3, x1 minus x4. And this can be written in the form of like x minus 0, x minus 3, x minus 4, x minus 7 divided by 2 minus 0, 2 minus 3, 2 minus 4, 2 minus 7 here. Similarly, we can just write L 2 x, x minus x 0, x minus x 1 x minus x 3, x minus x 4 divided by x 2 minus x 0, x 2 minus x 1, x 2 minus x 3, x 2 minus x 4 and which can be represented in the data points as x minus 0, x minus 2, x minus 4, x minus 7 divided by point is here uh, 3 minus 0, 3 minus 2, 3 minus 4, 3 minus 7 here. Similarly, we can just uh, define L 3 x as x minus 0, x minus 2, x minus 3 into x minus 7 divided by 3 minus sorry this will be 4 minus 0, 4 minus 2, 4 minus 3 into 4 minus 7 here and uh, L 4 x can be defined in the form like x minus 0, x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4 divided by 7 minus 0, 7 minus 2, 7 minus 3 into 7 minus 4. So, that is the representation for L 4 x here. So, if you will just consider the first order derivative based on Lagrange interpolation, then we can just express this p and dash x as, so we can just express p and dash x as summation k equals to 0 to 4 l k dash of x f of x k here. And if you will just define here l k x dash x as summation or directly if you just write here d by d x of omega of x divided by x minus x k omega dash of x k 
then omega x is represented as here if you just see that is a function of x only here that is in the form of like x minus 0, x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4 into x minus 7 here. And directly we can just evaluate this derivative with respect to x for this function here. And uh, obviously, if we want to write suppose at a point 2 suppose here, if you will just see the first function L02 here, so directly we can just say that since at a particular point we are just evaluating, if you will just see here L0x which is represented in the form of like a x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4 x minus 7 divided by your 0 minus 2, 0 minus 3, 0 minus 4, 0 minus 7 this one. So, if you just uh, take this differentiation with respect to x here that is just uh, giving you at a point particularly 2 if you just see here L0 dash of 2 this one. So, then oh, except first product if you will just consider this one, this you will just give you a non-zero value and everywhere else wherever this x minus 2 is present for remaining all of this derivative terms that will just give you a 0 term there. So, that is why we can just write this complete product form here that one as 2 minus 3, 2 minus 4, 2 minus 7 divided by minus 2 into minus 3 into minus 4 into minus 7 here. Since if you will just see this differentiation with respect to x minus 3 if you will just consider then x minus 2 will be present especially x minus 2 that will just give you 0 here. If you will just differentiate x minus 4 with respect to x minus 4 then x minus 2 is also present in the another term. So, that will just give you a 0 value there. So, likewise whatever this product terms if you will just consider except x minus 2 then all other terms will be 0 there. So, that is why this can be represented here in this form only and the value if you will just calculate that is just giving you 5 by minus 5 by 84. Similarly, if you will just calculate here L1 dash of 2 suppose next immediate calculation is L1 x suppose if you will just see here L1 x can be written in the form of like x minus 0, x minus 3, x minus 4, x minus 7 divided by 2 minus 0, 2 minus 3, 2 minus 4, 2 minus 7 here. And if you just take the derivative with respect to x and put this functional values 2 there, so all these terms will exist here if you just see. Since in the first differentiation if you will just uh, take this one, so we can just write this term as x minus 3 into x minus 4 into x minus 7. Second term if you will just uh, do this one then plus x into x minus 4 into x minus 7. Then next term if you will just take the differences with respect to x minus 4 here then we can just write x minus 0, x minus 3 into x minus 7. And last term if you will just differentiate, so all the terms at point 2 it will just exist. And in that case we can just write this one as L1 dash 2 equals to minus 6 by 5 here if you will just calculate. Then we will just go for like a L2 dash of 2. L2 dash of 2 if you will just see again the same scenario it can happen. This means that if you will just calculate L2 of x again this x minus 2 term will be there. So, that is why except one term all other terms it will just vanish after the differentiation here and we can just write this differentiation as L02 dash of 2 there and which can be written as like uh, 12 by uh, 20 by 12 here. So, the value is coming as a uh, like a L2 dash of uh, 2 that is just uh, giving you like 5 minus 5 by 3 here. Sorry, this is 5 by 3 only and uh, L1 dash of 2 this is just giving you minus 6 by 5. And if you in the same manner if you just compute here 
L3 dash of 2 that is uh, the same way we have to treat here also that it will just give you minus 5 by 12 and if you just compute L4 dash of 2 that will just give you 1 by 105. Once all of these values are known to us then we can just write this uh, functional derivative. This means that we can just write y dash of 2 as L0 dash of 2 into f of x0 plus L1 dash of 2 f of x2 plus L1 dash of uh, like uh, x3 f of x2 uh, f of x3 plus uh, L3 dash of uh, 2 f of x3 and L4 dash of uh, 2 into f of x4 there. So, if you just write all these terms here the derivative of uh, like this term y dash of 2 it can be written in the form like p n dash of 2 as minus 5 by 84 that is the first term into f of x 0 that is nothing but 4 here plus 6 by 5 into sorry this is minus 6 by 5 here the value into uh, 26. So, next term is uh, like 5 by 3 into 58 and immediate next term is like um, uh, minus 5 by 12 into 112 minus 5 by uh, 12 into 112 plus 1 by 105 into 466 here and the computed values that is just giving you here 23. If you will just see here this means that <coughs> we are just writing this values that is in the form like L0 of 2 or L0 dash of 2 into f of x0 plus L1 dash of 2 f of uh, x1, L2 dash of 2, f of x2 plus L3 dash of 2, f of x3 plus L4 dash of 2, f of x4 here or completely if we just write all these terms then we can just uh, evaluate uh, this uh, derivative or first order derivative for this function f of x by constructing a polynomial p n of x here. So, obviously based on that we can just evaluate this derivatives for all of this uh, uh, unequispaced points or equispaced points based, uh, based, based on this uh, Lagrangian interpolation formula. So, next lecture we will just uh, consider this uh, unequispaced points or uh, some other examples based on this Lagrange interpolating polynomial. Thank you for listening this lecture.